at 617 as start off is kind of a quiet morning and it's turned into a very busy morning now. And it continues to be the case. So we're tracking winds gusting upward of 60 to 70 miles per hour this morning. Yeah, and it looks to continue for our northeastern county. So if you're waking up probably to the sound of some thunder out there, are some strong winds. Don't be surprised, especially here for northeastern parts of the state. That does not include Tulsa at this time, as the majority of us are really, majority of these storms are really focusing in Kansas, Missouri, and then uh, just here north of Pryor area. You'll see with those uh, heavy amounts of rainfall. So here's your overall view of dual Doppler radar. Like I mentioned, majority of it really holding further towards the east. They went ahead and canceled that severe thunderstorm warning that we had that included portions of Mays, Delaware County, and they are going to go ahead and keep this one. And that's because ahead of this severe thunderstorm warning, they went ahead and issued that because ahead of these storms is about 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts, which uh, is that threshold for a severe thunderstorm warning. So they're going to keep that Del uh, Nawada County does include portions of OC of Washington County as well. So this goes until 645. You'll see these storms are moving just to the south. So before you're going to be impacted with some gusty winds and then you'll be left with some strong wind gust as well. Zooming in a little bit here over. Uh, we have Pensacola big cabin dealing with some heavy amounts of rain. We also have our storm chaser Mark Fulta who's out in that area and he's just continuing to track these storms. He was earlier over towards Rogers County reporting upwards of 70 mile per hour wind gusts. That is that damaging wind gust and it could affect some power outages. Meteorologist Andy Brown is in the Weather Center with some more details. Outages in this morning, and I want to show you some of the damage that was created last night, especially over the Oklahoma City area, where they're seeing uh, thousands without power. In fact, 26,000 people still without power in the Oklahoma City area. North of that, as you can see, which, uh, just 2,500, still a lot of the people without power. And where you're seeing that blue shading, uh, that's indicating that, that darker blue, that's indicating roughly about 100 people. So that does impact Washington County. We're getting these in as we go throughout the morning. Of course, we'll bring you the latest details. I want to show you some of these wind gusts that we've uh, received so far. We're getting these updated as we go. Holdenville, 47 mile per hour wind gusts. But look at the Oklahoma City area, which is why they had those power outages uh, so vastly. 68 mile per hour wind gusts. And Marshall, just north of Oklahoma City, 76 miles per hour. Emma. Wow, Annie, thank you. We do have that severe thunderstorm watch that's going to go until 11 this morning as these storms move further towards the south, which does include portions here in Tulsa County. Now we're going to go from a severe thunderstorm watch then to a heat advisory because the heat will still have the potential, although delayed, to really ramp up temperatures in the upper 90s. So it's gloomy out there, Shangri-La Resort. We've got some very ominous clouds on the BOK Tower up be okay camera. This is all part of Wade's RV weather camera network. It's quiet overall here in our area, but we've got some nice cooler temperatures just out towards the west. Pawnee four acre lower 70s this morning. Tulsa 83 a little bit on the warmer side. We've got some nice rain cooled air overall. So on the way out the door temperatures in the lower 80s, but then the sunshine returns and we are already back in the upper 90s. With that humidity, we're going to be under another heat advisory that's going to go until 9 p.m. And then after that, with those northerly winds, pleasant conditions to start off tomorrow morning with temperatures in the lower 70s. And then heat indices continue to climb by Friday into the weekend.